I need to put my panels, I got two panels out and I'm going to take some duct tape, I think, and duct tape them in. And then I have some, oh, what do you call that stuff? Totally lost the word. Some of the, oh, cable ties, that's what they are, I think. Yeah, cable ties that I'm going to put, like put a little slit in and wrap it. Like I'm gonna put a little slit in the plastic and then wrap the cable tie around to help kind of, kind of keep it along with the tape, the duct tape. Look, it's a disaster in there. Look at that. <laughs> Things just got thrown in there. It's a mess. It's a mess. Plus, the wind blows right through, so it just blows everywhere. I did have, um, and I don't know when they're supposed to supposed to come out, if at all, or when, or anything let's see I have some of these holes are filled for my bees so I'm hoping they'll um, hatch here pretty soon come out of course it's got to warm up a little bit my word it's been ridiculous I don't think this one I think it got started there's a few holes in there that got started so there may be some that come out of that one as well but I don't see anything so but yeah, I'm pretty sure it's got to warm up a little bit before those things will come out. But that'll be exciting to see those open and have them flying around the garden. My plants inside are doing awesome and they're getting so big they need to be in the greenhouse soon. Okay, trying to dodge the raindrops out here because either the wind's blowing or it's raining around here. Right now it's sprinkling and then it comes down and rains and then, you know, I don't know, then it stops and I come out and then it starts sprinkling again. So I'm damned if I do, damned if I don't. So, um, but I wanna get the panel on the back, uh, on the back and the side here and get them taped in and secured because these are the ones that keep blowing out for some reason. They're not happy. So we're gonna make them happy with some duct tape and some cable ties. So we're gonna see if that works. This is deja vu, I did this last fall to try and keep them in for the winter. This same panel, I glued it in all the way around. The glue is still stuck on it, but it didn't, uh, it didn't work. So I feel like deja vu. making sure there's enough to stick to. This isn't going for pretty. We're not going for pretty, we're going for functional. So, thank goodness, right? Side. I am going to do the inside too, but that's I got to move some stuff and uh, work around that bar. So I'm starting on the outside first, and so now I'm just going up around the top here. When I go on the inside, I also use the metal braces, but I have the tape on this side to push against to get that tape to stick nicely. So it kind of helps doing it this way, from the outside and then working my way in.
Okay, so Scott and I have been out here working. We put the uh, duct tape on either side, and then we ran the cable ties through one side around to the around the metal bracing, and then zipped it off so that it would have a little bit sturdier of a hold. We put tape inside and out. Did this panel too. We put the zip ties on here. Then we did these end panels because for some reason, well, actually there was a bolt out up here. Uh, so he put that in real quick and that helped sturdy these two end pieces up on the roof. We taped and zip tied those. And then we did this side over here because this was kind of giving us a hard time too, but it feels oh so much sturdier. And this front part does too, just by putting that, that screw must have come out in the wind or something, or that bolt and the nut, so. And then we shimmed up the door down here. Scott's idea, good job. We shimmed up the door because it was going all the way over and falling and not working right, but it slides really nicely now and works very good. Unless you go off the rail. So, that works good. Never should have said it worked. <laughs> it was working. It was, though. So, we're going to have a little duct tape uh, session here. We put two different kinds of duct tape because I ran out. This is like a vinyl duct tape here, and I ran out. So, Scott gave me this greenish stuff that we got at the Army Barracks, I believe. Didn't we get it there? And what did you want to say about it? That's U.S. military duct tape. That's uh, what they call 100 mile an hour tape. It's about the best duct tape you can get, actually, to be honest with you. They used to use it to patch bullet holes in airplanes, things like that. So that's good stuff. Good stuff. Even better than the 3M. So it's the green color. Does it come in any other colors, honey? No. Just the green? No. The and military then, isn't big on other colors. They, they like green, black, things yeah. like that. I think, I feel like I've seen it in black, but it might not be the same thing. They might have had black duct tape somewhere. But. but this is what he's talking about. It's really, really sticky. And then this is the vinyl stuff that I used up. But it's still sticky too, but... Not I thought that would stand up better because it's vinyl and it's waterproof instead of having paper and stuff in it. Right. So. Yeah. So... Time will tell. Yeah, we'll see. Depending on how much rain and wind and whatever we get. Okay, so now it's time to clean. We're going to try this trick. It didn't work. I guess I actually have to do the work. Okay, for reals, we're cleaned up, ready for some plants. I'm gonna leave that stuff up there because there may be uh, leaf cutter bees in there and they may be hatching, I guess is what it is. Uh, but I've got plenty of room. I need to get a table or something for over here, but uh, I'll be doing that in my, my uh, solar lights. I'll need to come out and go somewhere, but I'm not gonna take them out right now. But anyway, we're all ready for putting stuff in the greenhouse.